2025 Headmaster Mandatory Skill, Donning and Doffing PPE, Gown and Gloves Only, Empties Urinary Drainage Bag and Measures and Records Urine Output with Hand Washing. Manually unfold the isolation gown. Do not shake it open. Ensure that the back of the gown is facing you, then place your arms into the sleeves. Tie the neck strap into a loose bow or a slip knot. Close the gown as much as possible in the back, then tie the waist straps in a loose bow or a slip knot. Readjust the back of the gown to ensure that it is closed as much as possible in the back. Pull the cuff of the sleeve midway your palm, then put on the glove, ensuring that the cuff of the glove is over the cuff of the sleeve. Do the same for the opposite hand. Pulling the cuff of the sleeve midway your palm will make it easier when putting on your glove ensuring that the cuff of the glove is over the gown. Knock on the door. Greet and address the resident by name and title. Introduce yourself by name and title and explain the procedure. Ensure that the bed is in a low safe position and that the bed wheels are locked. Place the call light within the resident's reach. Provide privacy by closing the privacy curtain. Ask the resident about their preferences. Gather a clean barrier. You may use a chucks pad or a towel. Ensure that the drainage bag is not touching the floor. If it is, raise the height of the bed until it is no longer touching the floor. Place the clean barrier on the floor underneath the drainage bag. Check for kinks in the tubing. Gather remaining supply items, one alcohol wipe and a graduate. Place these items on the clean barrier on the floor. Remove the drainage tube from the holster. Place it inside of the graduate, ensuring it does not touch the insides of the graduate. Unclamp the tubing to allow the urine to drain from the drainage bag into the graduate. Ensure that you drain all the urine from the bag. Clamp the tubing. Clean the edge of the drainage tube using an alcohol wipe. After cleaning the edge of the tube with an alcohol wipe, replace it back into the holster. Dispose of trash into the waste bin, then gather the graduate inside of the clean barrier. Place the clean barrier with the graduate on top of a hard level surface. Do not place the graduate on top of the overbed table nor the bedside stand. Squat to get at eye level to measure the urine. Remove the clean barrier and dispose of it appropriately. If you used a chucks pad, dispose of it into the waste bin. If you used a towel, dispose of it into the soiled linen hamper. 
empty the urine into the bedside commode or toilet without splashing. Rinse the graduate. Empty the rinse into the bedside commode or toilet without splashing. Dry the graduate. Ensure that it is completely dry. Replace the graduate in storage or in the designated dirty area. Record your measurement in milliliters on the pre-signed recording sheet. You must come within plus or minus 25 milliliters of the evaluator's reading. Remove your gloves in a manner in which you will not contaminate yourself. Then immediately dispose of them into the waste bin. Untie your neck strap. Untie the waist strap. Slightly lean forward, then place your hands on the inside of the gown, removing the sleeves from your arms, ensuring that you do not touch the outside of the gown. At arm's length, roll the gown away from you, then immediately dispose of it into the waste bin. Remove any wrist, hand, or finger jewelry. If the sink has two handles, turn on both handles. If it has one handle, turn that one handle to the center setting. Wet wrist, hands, and fingers. Apply a generous amount of soap to hands, then begin lathering, creating friction. Ensure that your hands do not touch the insides of the sink and that they remain below the level of your elbows with fingertips down. Using the storm count, 1-1000, 2-1000, or 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, will ensure that you lather your hands for at least 20 seconds. After lathering your hands for at least 20 seconds, clean underneath your fingernails by rubbing your fingertips against the opposite palm. Don't forget to clean underneath your thumbnails. Thoroughly rinse all soap from wrist, hands, and fingers, ensuring that your hands remain below the level of your elbows with fingertips down. Also ensure that your hands do not touch the insides of the sink. Begin drying your hands by drying each individual finger of each hand first. Then dry remaining areas of wrist, hands, and fingers, disposing of the paper towel after each use. Use as many paper towels as you need to ensure that your hands are completely dry. Use a clean, dry paper towel to turn off the water. Return to the bedside to ensure the bed is in a low, safe position and the bed walls are locked. Ensure the call light is within the resident's reach. Ask the resident if they want their privacy curtain to remain closed or to be opened. Ask the resident about their preferences. Verbalize skill complete.